Hello, <clears throat> I'm glad to be with you for these few moments to spend with you today here in my study. I'm Ewell Humphreys. I'm glad to have this opportunity to speak. And I'm saying this to you out there that are listening today, a word that I believe that you need to hear. <clears throat> it's a word from God <clears throat> to you. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> the Bible teaches the great commandment is to love God. The people ask Jesus, what is the greatest commandment? They wanted to know among the Ten Commandments God gave to Moses, what is the greatest commandment? And in the Matthew, the 22nd chapter, Jesus said the greatest commandment is to love God with all your heart and all your soul and all your mind and your strength. And the second is like unto it, you shall love others as you love yourself. Now on these two hang all the other laws. In other words, if you keep these two commandments, then you be keeping all of them. But if you break these two commandments, you've broken all of them. So the greatest commandments, the greatest thing that you can do, the greatest thing that I can do, is to love God and love others. This is so important, to love God and to love others. <clears throat> In the 13th chapter of John, Jesus said, uh, a new commandment I give unto you, that you love one another, even as I have loved you. And by this shall all men know that you are my disciples, when you have love one for another. So it is very important, very important, that we learn to love one another. If you love one another, then you're doing God's work. And the only way we can love God and love others is by depending on God. We must first be born again. We must first allow Christ to come into our lives and the Holy Spirit to take over. And then we can love God and love others because we have God in us. You see, the Bible says that God is love. And if a person knows not love, he knows not God, for God is love. That's in the first John, fourth chapter. We need to recognize the importance of loving God and loving others. And when we love others, we please God. We please God. When we love others, we're doing that which honors God and blesses God. And so we need to recognize that fact. We can only do this by the power of God. We need to pray, Lord God, help me to love you. Help me to love you with all my heart. And Lord God, help me to love others. You see, we're not only to love those who love us, but we're to love those who do not love us. We're to love those who are unlovely. We're to love those that are not even, that are in line with us or in fellowship with us. We're to love others that we don't even like. And that's impossible until God gives us grace. And the Lord will do that for you. He will fill you with His love when you ask Him and let Jesus come into your heart. Oh, the greatest thing, the greatest thing is love. And the greatest way we develop love and get more love is by sharing that love with others. The more you give, the more you receive. It's like the bread the little lad gave to Jesus on the Mount of Olives and 5,000 hungry men were waiting to be fed, and he had five little pieces of bread. But he broke those bread in 12 pieces and gave it to the disciples, and they gave them out. And as they gave the bread, it multiplied until a whole group of 5,000 men were fed. And so it is with love. The more you give, the more it multiplies, the more it grows, the more it grows. Someone has said, a song is not a song until it's sung. And a bell is not a bell until it's rung. And love was not put in your heart to stay. But for love is not love until it's given away. Love was not put in your heart to stay. Love is not love until it's given away. And then it grows and it multiplies. And so Jesus said, a new commandment I give to you, that you love one another as I have loved you. 
And then he said, Hereby shall all men know that you're my disciples if you have love one for another. This old world needs love. All your neighbors need love. And dear friends, you and I need love. And we have it when we believe in the Lord Jesus Christ who loved us so much that he gave his life for us on that cross that we might be saved from a devil's hell and be born again and bound for heaven and our names are written down in glory. I want you to know that and believe that and trust the Lord today that he loves you. He loves you in your trial and trouble. He's with you. He loves you when it's dark. He is your light. He loves you and he's calling you. His arm is not shortened that it cannot save, nor is his ear heavy that it cannot hear. He calls and said, Come unto me, come unto me, and I will give you rest. And so, trust the Lord today. Trust the Lord today. Love, love lifted me. Love will lift you. I am so glad that Jesus loves me and you. Oh, I am so glad that Jesus loves you and me. Oh, praise God, praise God. I am so glad that Jesus loves you and me. This is it, my dear friends. Jesus loves you. Trust Him. Trust Him. Believe and receive His love. And then give it out to others. May the Lord bless you and keep you in His perfect will.